can say the food.
disappointing. Um, you know, disappointing day for us. Um, you know, it was a big game, big game for for the club, for our fans, and um, we didn't get the outcome we wanted. So, uh, yeah, obviously this is very disappointing. Yeah, no, because it's 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 understanding where you are as a football team, and um, you know, if I thought fixing defensive set pieces was the answer to us bridging the gap, then um, yeah, I'd put all my time and effort into that. But it's not where we're at. For us, it's about you know, we're not as focused on the details of not just set pieces. Um, a lot of moments in games where we don't sense that um, you know you give the opposite good opposition, um, the time and the space to do things, and they're going to hurt you. And, uh, you know, I think they maybe had four attempts on goal in the first half. They scored three. So I don't think it's just about one part of it. I think it's 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 a bigger, broader picture than that. But, um, our, you know, our, our, our defensive set pieces for those first two were, were very poor. So, but um, there's a lot more than that to fix. I don't know, it's it's like I said, the, it's disappointing. The outcome is disappointing. We wanted to 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 win today, so for our supporters, for the club, um, but you know we didn't do that. So whatever I think about the performance, it's still the outcome that you kind of uh, sits uh, on you. I think our general football was 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 good, it was decent. I think we controlled the game for the most part, um, but we've we know that we know we're a team who can do that. It's it's about us now, not now, but over the course of time, trying to get from where we are to where we want to get to and, and to do that you know we're, we're still not you know as laser focused on on the, the details the small things that get you from where we are to becoming a team that contends and um, you know credit to Arsenal they, they're there now you know they, they're a team that, that does um, deal with the details well and uh, we don't made their thousands I mean I'm not going to sit here and I mean it's just the little things that you know, you don't, you can't, like I said, you can't give time and space to good opposition and you can't make decisions or lose focus, um, you know, um, on any given moment. So, you know, even the transition goal, we, we were sort of focused on a decision at the other end when we should have been thinking about the danger that was at the other, uh, potentially the other side. Yeah, he was uh, outstanding. He's... Uh, He's a World Cup winner, and uh, you know I just got to get some of what's in him into some of the others. Doesn't matter if I saw it. What matters is that, uh, as I've said all along, games are not refereed at the stadium anymore. They're refereed somewhere else. And no one will convince me otherwise. It's not even re-refereed, it's refereed somewhere else. It's why I don't celebrate goals anymore. I've got to wait for somebody down the road. So I just don't think referees in the stadium anymore have that authority they used to to make decisions. They just they just go, you know what, I'll just wait till see what the bloke down the road thinks. And It's a shame, I don't like it, but it's here to stay and uh, well, I've got to accept it like everyone else. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, I was praying uh, so many space bodies in our box. Um, it was a really emotional game. Um, very tough place to come, obviously. Incredible atmosphere, stadium, and a great team to play against. 3 0 up, you are in control of the game. You come in the second half, um, and we're dominating the game and creating chances. And then, yeah, an individual error happens that clicks something. It puts a wrong message in your brain, but I think we started to deal with the situation better. Another one, and then it's game on. And they have the players, and, and they have the courage as well to to put a lot of, and commit a lot of players forward. And, uh, and we have to dig in, suffer, and react. And I'm very pleased the way the team is on it. What were your thoughts on, on the error, as you called it? 
Yeah, it's part of football. Um, it's the sequence of play. I don't like it. I don't like the principles that we apply. And in in that moment and the orientation of the ball, and after that, it can happen. You you misjudge the, the, the situation. You try to make uh, the pass, then you don't, and, and you are in doubt zone. And, um, and the score, they take advantage of that. And the penalties is another principle inside the box that you cannot do. It's part of football. What I love is David does that. He picked guy my hands up that is quite heavy. And then he was sensational for the last 20, 25 uh, minutes of the game. And this is what I love about uh, our place. Kai from Football Yeah, maybe you could give me the advice as well of uh, try not to make it hard for yourself. Uh, but um, at the end, you can't just uh, pretend to come here and, and don't suffer and have a comfortable afternoon and, and play a space of the park because it doesn't happen and you just have to see the games that I have played against the top teams because they are a really good side. Just on that note, was it the plan in the first half to sit as deep as we did or did Spurs sort of force you back into the forward? No, they forced you. And we had an issue... With the, with the high press, we give so many balls away, simple balls, our ball circulation wasn't good enough. The result has an impact, you are tuning up, and the result is having an impact as well. To feel com more comfortable doing that, we looked at real threat as well. On on the counters, they commit so many players, so they force you as well with their structure as well um, to have one or two more players in certain areas that provokes you to be a little bit deeper. But um, we're okay that we didn't really concede uh, much there, but um, I think the second half, in certain moments, especially with the ball, was better. What's better for the psychology of Pacquiao? Winning 3 0 comfortably or coming through that? I don't know. We're going to make that the second option is a great one, and, uh, and the players can be more convinced. We've done it two years in a row here, which is extremely difficult. The manner was different last year as well. We had to suffer in the second half to. Um, to win the game, so um, great. The team has another tool, um, something else to to grab. That is the confidence that uh, bigger stage. When you have to come to a bigger stadium, you can go and win it. So good learning. Nick Gordon. Hi. Hi. Um, we've talked a lot about Kai Havertz recently, but today we saw a forty-yard pass for an assist. We saw a got to strike his header for a goal. Are we are we seeing him unlock? More and more parts of this game, and it's quite a complete centre performance. Uh, he was sensational in every department today. He was, and he wasn't as his hundred percent. He was ill before the match. He was a bit of struggling, and still he put the performance that he's putting. I thought he was uh, unbelievable today. Amy, Afazan. Miguel, after the relentlessness of April and days every three days, what is it about your team that enables them to keep coming back from that difficult period where it looked like maybe everything's Going wrong, win, win, win. What, what, what can you tell us about them and their approach and how they behave with each other and what they want to do? Well, first of all, how much you want it, how much they want it. Uh, don't feel sorry for yourself. It's part of the journey. It's part of when you are at the at the highest competitive level, you can have disappointment. The margin is so small. They're not going to go always for you. And then how you react to that and and face face the challenge, face the opportunity. And uh, and be brave, and I think this team has a lot of courage and and determination to to make it happen. You have so much faith in the guys on the pitch. It seems. I do have, yeah. The last few minutes, uh, I was doubting a little bit, to be fair, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I think we were all there. But uh, yeah, they gave me no reason. I said to you before, uh, they're gonna be ready for Sunday. They played, as you said, a lot of minutes, a lot of games, emotionally very demanding month. But uh, yesterday. I had to stop it in training because they wanted more, you know, so that's a good sign. Okay, last couple now. And James? You said earlier that the players found another tool to help them win the game. Do you sort of think, you know, whatever happens now, this team's shown that they can handle this stage of the season better than last year? I think so. When you win, it's always the case, you know. <laughs> last year we didn't because we went to West Ham and with that result we missed a penalty. And against Liverpool you consider the 91st and then you are not capable. So at the end, that judgment is going to be based on the result, not like the outcome. If you if you consider a goal in the last minute and it's 3-3, three, three, then we're not ready. So the margins are so small. So don't get carried about with yourself. Just understand that we have to be better. We want to be better. There are margins for improvement. And go again against Bournemouth. That is going to be really tough. Finally, Sam, Telegraph. Do you see it in the players' eyes that they're going to fight until the very last second, no matter what? Yeah, 100%. But I've seen that the whole season. And 
and they give me the, the reason to believe that every single day and obviously we are right on it and motivation and, and what is ahead is, is beautiful so obviously we are expecting that they're going to have a real goal. Thank you Rob. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.